few months after Hartwell, you know, we had a couple other events, uh, you know, did okay in them, struggled in a couple of them, um, but, you know, made it to the cup. All year I've been working on this frog rod. Um, you know, even even from last year I've been working on it. And I've been figuring out, you know, where I want the handle to be and kind of, you know, the guide spacing and stuff. The blank was perfect. It was FP885. And, uh, you know, I finally feel like I got the handle length right, everything perfect, so I could roll cast up under trees, but I could also uh, have the power to drill the hooks in, into the fish. And, uh, you know, and I just haven't been able to use it. I haven't got on a frog bite. I finally got about 30 miles back in this creek. Um, you know, my brother's first bite was like a five pounder. You know, and I'm like, man, we are, we are practicing for the forest wood cut. I was like, shake them, shake them off. What are you doing? Like, you know, he jacks this one. He's like, hey, take my picture with it. And I took his picture. I'm like, hey, get any more, shake them off. So we're going a little bit further. He sticks another one, another big one. And I'm just like, all right, that's it. You're done. You know, got him, tell him to put his rod down and uh, he quits fishing. You know, I get a couple more bites and, uh, you know, well, we take off and get ready for the tournament. It has indeed been an exciting season on the Walmart FLW Tour, and it has all led to this lake right here near Huntsville, Alabama. Wheeler Lake is the site of the 2016 Forestwood Cup, and 50 of the most talented anglers in the country had to earn entry into this premier event. But that first day we get up there, we just got all this rain and all this duckweed flooded the canal. And I mean, as soon as I saw the duckweed, I mean, the light switch went on. And we should get as far as we can off this lake. And, um, you know, I picked a creek, and it was one of the creeks I've never even been in before. And I was like, we're going to run this thing as far as we can, you know, to the back of it. All right, guys, we've traveled a long ways from Ditto Landing. I know it's a surprise. John Cox is not on a river ledge. We've traveled way up a creek, and you can see. He's about as far back in here as you can go. Only a crazy man would go this far and a guy in an aluminum boat, and that's John Cox. We hit logs, we hit rocks, we about got thrown out twice, but it was just, it was so far, you couldn't just idle it. The man who decided to find his own thing was Mercury Pro John Cox of DeBerry, Florida. He worked his boat through a tiny creek and proceeded to light up the leaderboard to the tune of 16 pounds on day one and grab the lead. John Cox with a two pound, four ounce lead on Wheeler Lake. Wow! You know, I was leading tournament day one. You know, leading day one in the Forest Wood Cup. You know, I've always wondered, like, you know, is that gonna happen one of these days? You know, I've always done so awful in the Forest Wood Cup. And, uh, you know, and we're leading day one, day two, we go back, do the same thing, about rip the motor completely off on one of them logs. We hit it so hard, it knocked the motor out threw me forward into the steering wheel, threw my guy up on the front deck. I mean, it, it was, you know, that mercury is just, you know, it's just, you know, it just kept going. Had the buzzards going off and everything, but it just, it never, it never let us down, you know? John Cox is leading, and with some history, he realizes just how sweet this opportunity is. Back in 2011, uh, things were tough. I was struggling on tour. You know, we're just making it by, barely, and everybody's like, you need to get a real job. You need to, you know, you know, you need to, you know, just grow up and quit chasing this thing and uh, <laughs> I'm getting chills talking about it. And then, uh, you know, 2011 winning at the Red River and then, you know, even just some struggle in between there and to now be here, you know, leading the Forest Wood Cup. On day two, Cox went right back to work in the same creek and the backs of creeks started to emerge as a good pattern for anglers looking to make the weekend cut. Got back there and called him again, doing the same thing, throwing the frog and stuff. And uh, you know, and that time we had a we had a whole a whole bunch of camera people. I mean, they they had it all blocked off behind me with camera boats. There was camera guys in the woods. I mean, it was just it was awesome. And it was just like uh, you know, it's like uh, I had uh, this uh, crowd of people watching me fish. And every time I caught one, you know, I feel like some of the people were more excited than I was. And it was just it really it really felt good. It was. Uh, it was just awesome. At the end of two days, John Cox is feeling good about his chances, but Jacob Wheeler moved up 30 places on day two by also working the back of a creek, much in the same way he won his Forest Wood Cup title back in 2012. Going in day three, um, I just really felt like there wasn't many fish left in this creek. You know, I've hammered it for two days. I've had a, another guy come in, another competitor, and catch a really good stringer out of there right behind me. and. Uh, you know, so I'm just like thinking, you know, how much more can this little tiny creek hold up, you know? 
you know, fishing the spot. And it's just, you don't know when they're gonna turn on and you kind of just, you know, the bites all day. So you kind of just keep throwing. And I, if we could get a, just a couple three pounders, I feel like it would be worth it this morning, you know? And then we'll, I mean, if we got to go somewhere else to finish up with the other ones, we'll go do it, you know? So, you know, I don't know. I mean, this is about how it's been. It's just slow. There we go. The 11 Eva John Cox, you'll go out and boat number one tomorrow. The top 10 field that will be fishing one more day is set. And John Cox has to be a little nervous as he saw a seven pound lead shrink by six pounds. Hey, Byron Velvet out here. Final day action, 2016 Forest Wood Cup. I'm looking for John Cox. And the rumor is, he's back there. Back here where I'm fishing it, it's a way off the lake. And I mean, it's, the fishing's so tough. That's what I was just looking for, something that I could kind of get as far away from the lake as I possibly could. And, um, it's miserable out there. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's more of a mentally being able to stay together, um, you know, you know, through the whole, you know, through a whole day, you know, I mean, even it, it's just, you know, and, and I tried to prepare before that even, and, and I, I fished every day down here. I mean, it was, I was over getting overheating. I'd get sick, um, but I just stayed outside every day up to that tournament just so I could be uh, mentally prepared for it. I got back here and got a few bites and I didn't really know what to expect, you know, I, th I honestly thought it was only going to last a couple days because, you know, it's just a little tiny creek, you know, and it's not, it's not that big and you just think it wouldn't hold up for a four day event, you know, you usually need something more than that. You know, here we are on the fourth day leading the tournament and, and we have a shot at winning right here. Got her. I got her. I got her. It's gonna go down. It's gonna go down quick though. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, maybe it is the winning spot. Okay. Let's make that happen. Oh. Ooh, I'm shaking. I usually never shake. All right. Here we go. That's a better one. Got her. That's the quality we need. Look how bad it is. I got her. It's going to go down. And here we are with John Cox, who has led all three days. Michael Neal versus John Cox. Number four, a five-pass limit for John Cox. You need to dethrone Michael Neal just seven pounds and five ounces. Five work. 11 pounds, eight ounces. Your champion is John Cox. Wow! John Cox is the 2016 Forest Wood Cup champion. Congratulations to you, John. Here's something else you may be proud of. That's that $300,000 check from FLW. John Cox your new 2016 Cup Champion. For a four day total, 54 pounds, 13 ounces on Alabama's Wheeler Lake. That's an impressive feat this time of year. It was an amazing week. I mean, it was just, I didn't, I didn't think that hole was gonna be the winning spot and it ended up being the winning spot. I was pretty torn up. I missed a couple in a row and then I caught that big one, but I kind of think it might've been the same fish just staying in front of me and I finally caught her. I built an MHX rod. It was an FP885 and, uh, and I tied a frog on it. And I went as far, I took my Crestliner Mercury as far back in one of the creeks as I possibly could. and. Uh, I got back there and I just put my head down and, and threw it for the last four days and, uh, and jacked them. I gotta thank everybody that came out. I mean, I, I've the most family and friends I usually have ever had at a weigh-in is probably three or four, and I don't know how many showed up for this one. So this is awesome. Your new Riding Forest Wood Cup champion, John Cox. It's one of the most heartwarming stories. John Cox, the everyman of bass fishing, outfishes 49 of the best anglers in the world to earn the most prestigious title of his career.